What's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles welcoming you to another edition of Lyles Movie Files. Joining me as always is little brother Jace. How you doing, bro shot? Hey, world. How you doing? Good to be here. And royalty has blessed us once again. It's the one and only Jay King. How you doing, man? Oh, please. It's a pleasure to be here with y'all. Shoot. I'm doing well, Jeff. I'm doing well, Jace. How about y'all? Hopefully you enjoy your Wednesday. Uh, not too bad, man. I have been very, you know, it's bad when you start watching the show and you need to get behind. And it's really easy for that to just snowball into, oh, I missed this week. I missed the last week. Oh, shoot. Now I'm behind three weeks. That's you not know, that be- sounds like, go ahead. No, that sounds like my walking dead time. You know, I missed one week. I missed another week. Then I missed three seasons. And I just don't know where to catch up. <laughs> I can just binge the whole series, right? <laughs> It'll be fine. I mean, now that you mentioned, let's talk Walking Dead because, like we told you a while ago, the show has found its footing again under showrunner Angela Kang. It's been back now for three weeks, two weeks, three, I think. Yeah, you know, this whole deal with the AMC Plus kind of messes it up. It's kind of hard to remember what actually is on, what has aired, what can you can watch if you have that AMC Plus. It's like you you get a week early, but you get a week early, and then you're always a week early. <laughs> yeah, and then you can't talk to anybody about it. Yeah, like, did you see the thing that I can't tell and spoil it all to you? No? Yeah, I think that's a really bad play, because I feel like, and we'll talk about this in Netflix, too, because I feel like they're missing the boat in terms of what they need their viewers to do, to accomplish, and then it becomes this weird thing of, wait, you guys aren't doing what we want you to do. It's like, no, no, we're not. All right, so let's see here. I had to, to break down here. So it started back in October 2nd, so we've had three episodes. And these three episodes have been real solid. I feel like the show has been on super fast-forward mode because it's like, oh, crap, the show's almost over. Sort of, kind of, because we have 18, wait, 19 spinoffs coming up. I was say. How many more episodes are there in The Walking Dead proper? One, two, three, four, five. Five more episodes. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. That's a little wow. You you know something really quick, uh, sidebar. But it's still the walking, still related to Walking Dead. Remember at one point in time, this was like the number one show outside of Game of Thrones on cable. I mm-hmm. remember because I was expanding my TV coverage and I was Okay, I need to do more than just the CW shows and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know what? Mm-hmm. Game of Thrones pissed me off with this red wedding. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna start writing about this show. And then I'd always enjoy Walking Dead because, you know, there wasn't like 80 vam- vampire zombie shows on at the time. And it was still really novel. And I don't feel like Walking Dead, I think they have managed to survive even though we've kind of gone past our zombie phase with movies and TV shows, they had a, their own creative lull during the Savior's art. But I feel like they've really rebounded and the show's become so much better. And I think the key with Walking Dead was not to get bogged down with spinoff shows. Like I watched the Fear of the Walking Dead in, in batches. I don't watch it week to week. It's like, eh. These guys are even bigger morons than Rick Screw. Not the Rick Screw. <laughs> stupid. It's just they're they're the Jays so eloquently phrase it. They're the locusts. They come to your community and raise it to the ground. Yeah. And you're like, what happened? You, you know, that had been my problem with uh Rick and his group, Jeff. They have become the bad guys of the series to me. Mm-hmm. It wasn't everybody else, it's you guys. You guys are like the it's like Larry David in a group of ten. It's like ten Larry Davids coming to your, your party. <laughs> where'd everybody go <laughs> <laughs> like what happened and that that part of it started to kill the show for me and I, I knew that when uh angela kang right that's that i don't yeah, want to butcher her name yeah, yeah yeah when i started watching her episodes i said man this is a different show it's a better show it's Absolutely. something you want to watch you mm-hmm. know and it's unfortunate that I just kind of jumped off. I missed so much and hadn't gone back to to catch up that I kind of said, you know what? I'm not even going to try to do that now while other episodes are coming out uh, or coming on. 
I'll wait till it's over. Then I'll start back up at like, um, I want to say the fast forward season. Yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, cause I think, well, it's, they did that fast forward. That was an her break. Run. Yeah. So Angela had about a few episodes with Rick and then fast forwarded through was it nine years. Yeah. She had a group. She, she, nine aged years, years later. later. Yeah. Which, I mean, as it was like how they did like days of our live. And it's like, sometimes it's like, you're getting this real creative low. So it's like, all right, let's age up some characters. Let's create some new blood, create some teenagers, create some no. young adults. You, you age up the younger kids and you make, and you give the other characters bad wigs. Yeah. But you like, know, maybe hey, let your dye hair come in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you know, cause I mean, the great thing about it is it's like, you can kind of like, oh, there's a, I have some knowledge of this character when they were young, but now that they're young enough, I can kind of fiddle in. Yeah, this was their awkward phase, and they'd be annoying as hell. Let's go. Yeah, good. Give me, give me, give me where I would actually care about these kids. Well, you know, Jace, that's something that worried me about the show, right? With the time jumps, um, and also adding more characters, the cast had got bloated to a point where. It's hard to focus or care now, about. Now, Javon, Javon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this one thing: the uh-huh. the Reaper needs to come by ASAP. But the Reaper needs to not kill the characters that I care about, because <laughs> it they have a lot of characters, and I'm not sure. I think probably with the Whisperer War, a few more characters of prominence needed to get killed, but yeah. the ones they've left. Kind of makes sense in a post Rick Grimes Walking Dead show, and Michonne has to leave because I'm doing this Black Panther too. I don't care which y'all are on. And hey, we got these spinoffs coming with the other core characters, and so there were these mini, like the B plus players. They needed to still be there and not get killed. But there are some C level characters they could have killed off, and I wouldn't have complained too much. Wouldn't have batted an eyelash. But Jeff, I'm gonna tell you something, right? I I still have a sour. I still have a sour taste. No oh, man, he was so sour. He muted himself. I know, like, super sour. Like ah. just like that red cup of cheese. All right. Well, Jay King is still gathering his thoughts, but Walking Dead has been good. Yeah. And this last episode, I was, I was like, man, now we got walkers that open doorknobs and, and climb walls. That's kind of creepy. You know, the funny thing is, they almost. It would have been better right after um, whispers. whispers to pull that out because it's like, oh, these are some freaking whispers. Oh. And then that would have freaked out even more, especially like when they're trying to get to uh, the um, what is it? I kind of uh, like the timing of it because it had been just far enough away. Hey, we got this threat of the Commonwealth and their stormtroopers. But Hey, shoot, we got more whispers that we didn't realize were still out there. Whoa, it's not a whisper. Yeah, I, I, I like I great. like that how they did that, but it, and it's really and I'm like with only five episodes, it's like I wanted to see the last little bit. They I don't because I'm trying to think of what show like almost cleared the deck towards the end. And the one the one I can think of most is probably Star Wars Rebels, where it was like you lost major characters <laughs> by the end of you're like. Right. I'm shook right. at the end of this show. I'm like, I don't know if any of y'all are gonna make it. I mean, like, I need kind of that not Rogue One kind of mentality, but I kind of wouldn't mind seeing Rogue One at the end of this, where it makes sense for all these guys to do the spinoffs because they're like, I'm broken. I, I gotta leave. I'm out of here. Everything I had is gone. So let me go. Let me go see what's up in New York because uh, Virginia just doesn't cut it anymore. If you're Negan, so all right. Since you, y'all, yeah. I'm sorry, Joe. I, I got cut off because a, a call came in. And I got cut it, it separated, but sorry about that. I still have a bad feeling, a taste in my mouth about Michonne just leaving her kids to go chase Rick. <laughs> but we, and, and we got no resolution from that. Am I right? There was no, okay, and she'll be back like to she, close out or come no, back. No, she's joining the Rick show. It's going to be Rick and Michonne. The, so. the Rick show. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Michonne. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm with you. I don't think there was a good way whatsoever to write those kids off with Michonne. She couldn't take them with him. So it was just like, ah. You can't kill the kids anymore. They, yeah. So I mean, well, like, not those kids. Yeah, right. we, we've, we've killed off other kids. So if you kill off those kids, it's like, well, you probably should have, 
if you're gonna kill them, Michelle's gonna kill get dead right after that. Yeah, There's we, no way we got a body to count it. on kids. We, we can't lose anymore. Yeah, yeah. So that was that. But since you brought it up, and I haven't watched today's episode, but Andor's episode from last week. Oh my gosh. Woo! Talk about scorching the earth of your characters. I mean, this this really had a Rogue One feel to it. This this was uh, episode six was last week, and Andor has a thing where you're gonna kind of go. Do I need to sit with this show for 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 a few episodes? But every third episode is oh my gosh! This is so incredible. This is. This is Star Wars in a Rogue One universe. This one is so good. And I know she, she holds this statement that Star Wars and Star Wars without lightsabers. But this stuff is great. Like this last episode, the, the visuals were incredible. Oh, yeah. That fireworks scene. I mean, like oh, the, the space really? scene, because it wasn't fireworks. That was like, oh, y'all put some money in this. This is I not. I was like, that's so cool. This is not She-Hulk CGI. Like you're, they put money in this thing. Yeah, it's it's been really good. Like I said, every third episode is just great. Uh, I'm I'm uh, gonna give you a heads up on this. Uh, this was not one of those third episodes. Uh, tonight's uh today's episode. It was very much a, it's setting up something. It was keeping with the pattern. Yeah, it's it's but this unlike the other ones. You actually see some of the seeds come in there way more than other ones. Like, oh, this is just a setup episode. It is a setup episode, but you see, like, oh, there's definitely coming. You're gonna hit it. Sun's hitting, like, you know, next within the next two weeks. I think what's cool about the show is even when they have to do these setup episodes, the payoff to them is so worthwhile. It's like, all right, y'all, y'all, y'all can, y'all have earned my patience for these episodes. Yeah, like, because when you, you, if you were binging now, it's even better because you get that bam, okay, and then you're like, all right, I'll wait three weeks potentially to get caught up, so I get a three hour or long movie, and then it's bam, next one. Wow, this is you know every quarter, every three weeks, I get a great movie. Yes, let's talk about some news though. Netflix is going to begin charging an extra user fee early next year. And that basically means they announced this on Tuesday. They will charge customers an added monthly fee to people who share their login credentials beginning early 2023. So this will, these extra fees include users outside of your immediate household who use your login to access the service. Now, what I thought was interesting, people in the comments section from one post were like, what if I'm on vacation? What if I'm traveling? What if my kids in college use it? What if I have my iPad, my whatever, and I'm on the go, I'm at the gym. Does that count? What are you going to do? Is it solely if I'm home? I wonder what next list answer is to that, because to be honest, it, it's ha- there are, yes, there are a number of people who use multiple logins and you you say, a, if you have different profile, we'll we'll charge you per profile. And that's probably the thing. You'd be like, hey, if you want to have four profiles for a family, we're cool. But we're assuming maybe not all of them live together. And even if you got young kids, it's like, unless you have two kid profiles, we're assuming, you know, maybe your teenage kid ain't really a teenager. And that's probably the way they're going to have to do it. Because it like that scenario is like, I know many people will go to the gym, do cardio. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm watching walking dead or something like that. And if you ask me if I'm not going to pay more money, I'll just cancel my service and just go to Disney plus or HBO. And just, that'll be what it is. Javon, what are some thoughts on that? <laughs> Honestly, Jeff, I, I remember when I, I really cared about my Netflix subscription when Netflix had, before the streaming war started, and Netflix could have other studios uh, property, like I used to go to Netflix to watch South Park, King of the Hill, Quantum Leap, Cheer, whatever, Cheers, Cosby, Different World. It had everything. Th- mm-hmm. It had everything, right? I would, 
this was one of those things where back in the days as a struggling 20 something, I would have foregone like the gas bill for a month to keep my Netflix on because it, hey, it had that much content that I would be satisfied and, 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 and I would have so much to watch for, for, for forever, you know, for days on end. For $9.99. Now, I can care less. I just had a dog attacking. And um, for nine bucks, right now, here we are, the dollar's worth 50 cents. And we're gonna raise the price of our service if you share your uh your 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 password or your credentials with anyone else. Look at everybody shares their Netflix. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, I know, shocking, right? Everyone shares their Netflix. So what I'm gonna what I'm what I think is gonna happen, some CEO, I can't remember, I saw it on my news feed, said the cost of streaming is gonna come at a, at, at such an extreme where your streaming services are going to rival a cable bill. And for most of us, it already is. If you're paying for multiple streaming services, HBO Max, Disney Plus, which everybody's got those two right now, add in Netflix, add in Hulu. If you're some kind of idiot, you pay for Showtimes or, you know what I mean? You pay for Showtime or whatever, Star Streaming. You have hey, Paramount Plus for no reason yeah, at all. Paramount Plus because you have money to burn. You know, you, you're the Yellowstone's biggest fan, so, you know, you, you do that. These things cost, and they're not like, they're the same as premium channel packages on your cable plan. So you have five of these, guess what? You got a cable bill. You're paying over 100 bucks or close to it, right? That's what I so, thought it was so funny when everybody was patting themselves on the back. I cut cable. I'm like, did you do yeah, it? Did you really? You're just not paying one company. You're paying right. 20 bills versus one. Yeah. yeah, if it makes you feel better, you know, it's one of those things. I think with Netflix doing this, they're going to find some drop. I, people are going to pay. Well, those who like and enjoy Netflix are going to continue to pay. I'm one of those people that I let my I let my Netflix lapse, and I use someone else's now. I'm one of those people. And I'll probably never pay for Netflix again unless anything, unless it goes back to what it was, let's say, circa 2010. I'm That's the problem, because Netflix, for all the high-profile stars in their movies, for all their reality shows that suck because people don't stay together on their dating shows. I'll get to that in a yeah. second. They not suck. Good. They suck. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't miss it if I didn't have it. And I feel like this is, you know, Netflix is excited because they added over 2.4 million subscribers in the third quarter of this year. But that's not because, oh man, you guys are cranking out a new season of Stranger Things every quarter. People watch Dahmer, the A people, spoiler, sorry. Um, but it's like, why, why are they thinking that's the way to go? These shareholders lose their minds. Oh, yes, a more we're gonna charge these you extra users three or four dollars. Now I can have some more wine on my yacht. Well, Jeff, I honestly I'm thinking if they actually do do that, you're gonna see like, oh, you gain. 2.4 million subscribers what's going to happen next in next fall when you implement this price because you're going to lose hey we gained 2.4 last quarter we dropped 3 million this one. chief what do you think about this uh, i i don't know i don't know what the plan is for regulating it i don't know so i used to give out my netflix uh account to people like, like candy huh and then you know what people used to do like i would i would sign on to my netflix and it would be whoever i gave it to like their whole list of their whole family on it <laughs> i'm like yeah <laughs> one profile for whatever reason, one. i would be honest for whatever reason that used to irritate me so then i used to do the hard reset where you just eliminate everybody's password because i'm like yo I didn't give it like don't take ownership of it. I didn't, you know what I mean? It's not yours to, you know what I mean? It's not yours to 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 personalize. <laughs> you just watch what you watch and leave it the hell alone. So that so then I stopped giving out my Netflix joint. I'm like, yo, you know, I'm that uh that commercial. No, my brother, you got to get your own. You know, the <laughs> hey love commercial. So that's that's I'm on my hey love shit. So then the other part, I don't really know how they're going to um, really stop it uh, to a degree. I guess maybe if they charge an extra three bucks to everybody a month, um, 
just to kind of go up like that. I don't know. Um, I don't necessarily watch Netflix to that degree. Like, for example, if you go to my Netflix now, it'll be about 40 half finished seasons of, of something. Like I'll watch it. And then like something, you know, like the Witcher, um, certain Just things. Still haven't I'll, started season two of. <laughs> right. Certain things I'll probably watch. Like I'll sit down and watch, but like the Umbrella Academy, I never finished. I, I got never finish. started. Never started. <laughs> the, 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 this journey with the Chubacabra, I never finished. Like it's a whole bunch of unfinished things on it. You're um, a Netflix starter. Yeah, I you know, I, I start and then I just never finish them. Um so I think that if Netflix starts offering a package also because I've always wondered this with Netflix, why don't you have a new like a it's in theaters selection. Like when you go to Prime, you can look at movies that's in theaters. If you go to Peacock, you can look at movies like that's in theaters. Mm-hmm. You know, Netflix, they're like, uh, we're going to give you our own content. You know, damn what's in the theater. I think Netflix has to evolve. Um, I think they can charge more. I mean, what's, 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 if you don't have a bundle, what's Disney costing? What, $13 a month now? $14 a month? I don't month? know. It's $80 to renew. I just got my email subscription renewal today. But I'm and saying if you don't, if you pay monthly, I have no clue. I don't know why you would do it monthly. Cause... Well, I mean, people, some people pay monthly. You know what I mean? Um, you know, yeah, uh, you got the discount price, eighty dollars. Like I think it's more than. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna do. Yes, please renew quickly. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't investigate further. Just so I, I just think one. that um, people are going to. I, I don't know how you regulate it, and 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 they may lose a bunch of subscribers. If they try to pull some old, uh, you know, something stupid in the regulation of it, you know what I mean? Um, That's what I'm thinking, because I just feel like only- there's no point to trying to regulate something that's been done since the dawn of your streaming I'm, server. I'm going to tell you what angers, what angers me. And if they do this, I'll definitely probably uh, walk away. When I have I have NFL Sunday ticket, right? Yep. Only one thing in the house can be using the NFL Sunday ticket. And that angers me like no other. Because if I'm downstairs and somebody wants to watch another game upstairs, they can't. And I'm like, why not? Why would you make it so that on the same network, someone else can't watch it? That seems to defeat the whole purpose of the NFL network. Go anywhere. You know right? I mean? Like what? Like it doesn't make sense. Like it's all in the same house. I pay for. Uh, for. But but that that's know. to get around Netflix problem. That's well, their solution to it. It's but, like, but, hey, we're gonna start all right. year from the jump. We're gonna make but, it one user but, one time. If and Netflix way- does the same, they're gonna lose a bunch of subscribers because that means while you're watching something, your kids can't watch something or whatever have you, and then it makes it useless. On that on that platform, and um, you know that's why I'm hoping that this year I think I think with uh, the Direct TV contract is finally up. Mm-hmm. I think, and I hope that whoever gets it new, uh, you know, doesn't do that that job that job bull because I you know mm-hmm. it just doesn't make sense. I should be able to watch it on whatever TV is on that network. So if I'm if somebody's on their cell phone at the house. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, I so think it's like one, one yeah. if, as long as they have the same Wi-Fi. Right. It's okay. Should, you know, okay. there should be, we should allow it, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, if, like I said, if Netflix does that, I think a whole bunch of people will leave. Um, they have to, if you're going to start charging, in this day and time, you're going to have to, if you're going to charge people extra for anything, you got to add something in it. You have to add something extra. Yep. That's my whole thing. Because with so much stuff, it's like they want to charge you more. Oh, we're just charging more because, you know, today ends in a Y. But there's so many streaming services. You don't need Netflix. 
you don't need they're so not, many of these other things. They're not the only streamer that the streaming. Right. The, yeah, they're not at the forefront of streaming content anymore. So they can't justify price increases without providing, like we said, something to incentivize me to pay you extra. If I my the, my choices are whatever garbage you trotted out this month, be it one of your own, your your exclusive movies that I don't care who the celebrity is, you can't Kevin Hart in a serious you. drama. Yeah, because I want to see that. I want to see more Kevin Hart, as a matter of fact. That's what I want, more Kevin Hart. It's not enough that he's selling me everything from credit cards to to, to terrible uh, coffee drinks or whatever else he's selling this month. I got to see him in a a drama? No, no. It it doesn't matter. They got a a, a list of celebrities, A-list celebrities making content for them, and it all stinks. It's not enough to hold your interest. Their, their their series are it's hit or miss you know it's it's like anything else on Netflix that's Netflix produced it's all hit or miss hold they up. have hold them. up hold up hold up because I'll let you get to your point but I need to rant for a second so Wait, when I saw you Saturday with, with the rest of the fellas mm-hmm. I said you should watch Netflix's Love Is Blind and and Jace and Chief were like hey did you finish watching the Love Is Blind after I do. And I said, nah, I didn't watch it because, you know, who cares? I already knew one of the couples was getting divorced. Why stick around? What are they going to tell me interesting? So, watch those three episodes this week. And it was a whole bunch of nothing. So, for three episodes, it's just following the couples around. Hey, what's going on with you? What you doing? I don't know. <laughs> and I love you. I love you so much. Yo, I'm really feeling her. I think I should talk to her. I'm really feeling him. I should talk to him. It would be weird. No, we're best friends. We should do it. And then, you know, if you ever watch those, uh, like, like an episode of The Simpsons where they pop up, like they do this thing, the whole episode or whatever, like an itchy and scratchy thing where they pop up, boom, everything blows up. The following didn't happen. It's like real quick black screen and moves on. That was this show. <laughs> the final episode. By the way, none of the couples stay together. Sorry. And I'm like, here. y'all are some bamas. <laughs> this is the worst. I mean, because we watched three extra episodes. See? It didn't tease, didn't hint anything. I mean, one of them they did. But the other one was like, yo, what happened? They weren't even looking at each other funny. They were all, I love you more, but I love you more, baby. And I was like, this is stupid. And I was yeah. calling Jace and ran and like, you know what? They wasted my time. They didn't even show us any problems. They had cameras a whole year later, and somehow they didn't catch one argument with them. Like, y'all suck. Yeah, y'all suck. And see, Jeff, right there, right? It wasn't weird. It was the people faking, wasn't it? Dude, it was so much faking. And then Natalie's going, um, it really wasn't text messages. I'm like, what the heck was it? You were heard about some scandalous messages. What where were they? Were they smoke signals? Did they send them via carrier pigeon? <laughs> I was so blown. Because I was oh, like, yeah. oh man, Natalie clearly was right. Shane and Shane are so shady. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. And there's this like little post-credit scenes where it's like the, you know, where they do the 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 screw ups. The bloopers. The bloopers. The bloopers. Real. Yeah. Oh. They're just showing more interviews, I'm like, oh yeah, th- those text messages that she was saying, those DMs, Doesn't nobody matter. saw them. Like, are you kidding me? So three episodes are a complete waste of time, which in retrospect made the entire series worthless. The new season of Love is Blind started today, and I'm so good. You see From, right there. Right the there. Part was uh my man like I love when she dances on the table uh with the with the weird chicken. I'm thinking to myself, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> It's like she's gonna break one of my tables and I'm gonna get big mad and right. then I'm gonna that's gonna be a year's <laughs> worth of arguments right there. My man's like, I bought my furniture from IKEA and I don't want it jumped on. You know what I mean? It took him six hours to put that table together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Here you come with your with your uh drunk ass breaking the table. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um Gee, I, knew, I was so salty. I knew they was faking it. I was so oh man, I was so mad. And then the sorry. black dude. He couldn't stop partying. Dude, and, he and was out and, till and, he was he was a security guard at a club. Then he was a but, bartender. He's like, I don't want to go home. Right. I'm, I'm, at I'm at the gate. Home. I'm at the front door. Then I'm going inside to serve drinks. And then it's too late. Let's go out and find a club. Where the heck right. is he going? So, you know the funny thing? Find a, club. a lot of if you go back, 
He's like, I want a wife so bad. And they're all like, I want wives. They do. And they 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 so wives, they're, they're like, oh, I'm peace, I'm out. Right. I'm like, dude, uh, first of all, when you get wives, that's the last of your decision that's making. The... <laughs> right. <laughs> and right? You, you going home. Like, you going listen, home. man, I mean, you can't be out His here. logic was, I want to make more money, but I'm going to spend all that money by going out. It's like, uh, he was coming home at seven in the morning. I'm like, dude, what club are you just saying, hanging out at? I have until dude. hey, hey, sun's up. I guess I got to get home. I don't now. even know how you come Who home you at seven o'clock in the morning. It's Chicago. It's too damn cold to be out that time of night. Like, you on. know, you know, I would come home if I came home at seven o'clock in the morning. I would Man. take my ghost gun and shoot myself in the arm. And then she asked her, like, yo, I got shot. I woke up into the ditch. Because you have to make up something like that. You have to make up the craziest laugh. Right. You can't just say, uh, (laughs) shorty, I lost track of time at 7 a.m. You have to go home and you have to be messed up. I mean, you got to have somebody rip your clothes up. Man, rip the clothes up. Man, you got to move my mouth. You got to a fight with a gorilla. (laughs) You got to look like you got to a fight with a gorilla. He coming home drunk at 7 a.m. Nah, with a smile like, on your face. Hey, love, what's how even, you doing? What's even uh, open till 7 a.m.? I don't even Let's... know. He was hanging out at 7 Eleven. Listen, listen. To seven. His side bra's house. Yeah. That, <laughs> I mean, that, that would make over. more sense. But he was all, yeah, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I know I actually speak louder words. And, they're like, and then it just ended the whole thing, Javon. By the way, the couples decided there was no scene, it was just the black and the letters. Is it his little really? post script? I mean, no, they didn't even have a camera follow them, like okay. where one's fi- about to file for divorce, and then they're like, you know, I just couldn't make it work. Uh-huh. You couldn't, even, they didn't even bother interviewing him, like, nah, serious. I signed up for this, it wasn't a way to go. Just nah, his post credit. See, right. <laughs> see, that I have a problem with that, and I haven't even seen the show because if I'm gonna invest in watching this, you better give me some damn resolution. One, yes! two, give me yeah, a more resolution, <laughs> give me an ending. They gave me a postscript. Just a placket card, like, yeah, and this was a total failure. See y'all next year. No, I'm good. Yeah. I'm I'm getting that. Not a sale. So, so mad. And I was, I felt even worse because I was thinking, I told Javon to watch this show. (laughs) I mean, I was actually like, oh man, the new season starts Wednesday. I bought it. It's going to be so much fun seeing them go back and forth. I love you. Will you marry me until I see you? Ooh. I don't know about this. You know, these shows, these shows that rely on the love formula, I get it. We're cynical. Nobody stays together. But you got to have a hit rate. You, you've got, yeah. even if it's yes, you do. you have to succeed. Every season, it can't be, well, the first season, we had two couples stay together. These last four, eh. But Jeff, you know, that's it's funny. Not to keep hopping on this topic, but it's funny about shows like that to focus on the love, right? The couple aspect. Yeah. You need couples. You need couples to hate. You need the, the one, two couples to root for. Exactly. You, you need have it. Have to have that every season, and mm-hmm. they need to stay together. So yep. it's like, cool. This was a good investment of my time. Is you, you want to hate the couples that suck, <laughs> but you want to <laughs> see the couples that look like, hey, they're decent. They're good they people. I'm it. rooting for them. <laughs> they you give know, me faith. That, yeah, they give you faith, desperate, lonely exactly. person, that you can find love and it'll right. work out for you too. Right. So I'm like, man, you know, when I first started watching Married at First Sight, two of the three couples stayed together. And eventually it was down to one. But the, the couple that got divorced, they really were in it. They they tried for five solid years. You give me five years in a marriage, hey, that's, that's a, real life. I, that's I'm, an average, yeah. <clears throat> I'm down with that. I don't need this by the time, because one season of Married at First Sight, before the Joker's first episode was over, we already knew one of the couples getting divorced. I'm like, you all are wasting my time. And, <laughs> and I knew that from the first episode. And the producers were mad. They were upset. Well, you know, we can't keep watching to see their journey. I don't care about the journey. I don't there care. are no ends in a train run. Exactly. All right, Javon, you were talking about love after, lock- love after lockdown. <laughs> Yeah, love after locked up people in prison, whatever the show is wants to be this week. They got like five of them. So the latest one is life or love during lockup where the person is actually in jail, right? And so their story is running at the same time as both of these two people who are supposed to be in this relationship during the film process of the show 
are posting on Instagram pictures of their new lovers. That's the whole thing. It's like, yeah. listen, I'm not, I'm not here for the ride when I know that the ride ends in yeah. a disaster dump fire. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna let off right here. Thanks. This is I my mean, stop. It's just, I mean, think about it. That's why I like kind of the bachelor is almost more successful. If they can make it through the engagement, they like, okay, now you guys know you're on the bachelor train. So at least if you can give me six to eight months on this train where you can post your pictures, all the things, your social media embargo. But unless you guys actually hate each other, can you just front for the cameras and Go on no, the tours with no, this. that's even worse because then it's like it's just one. My favorite of these entire deals is Bachelor in Paradise, simply because of the numbers. And you really need to keep watching this season. I'm watching. I'm on I'm episode two right now. Honestly, is that really watching it? I'm on episode two. Well, honestly, I, I mean, I'm since I'm not going to watch. Uh, what was it? Uh, what is it? Married at first sight because you know that's going to be a train wreck. Oh, we're we're trying to do all these things and none of them work. Like, just go back to Never. the ultimatum. It's a better idea. Fellas, <laughs> thank you as always for rolling with me. Thank y'all out there for watching and listening. This episode allows movie files has been filed. <laughs>